Hi, my name is Maria, and in this video we will discuss Euro Dollar S&P 500 and um, some more instruments I will decide uh, in, in the video during the video. Well, guys, um, congratulations with uh, Happy New Year, and um, I hope that you are ready to work and, of course, to make some right decisions about uh, what you did last year in your trading history and what you are going to do in the future year. Uh, please write all your mistakes uh, um, in some notes, uh, maybe on your table. Write those mistakes from last year and do not do them in this year. I hope you'll be good and you'll be profitable this year. Uh, this is my uh, only one wish for you, to be profitable. Uh, well, let's go uh, for the technical part. What I see for euro dollar and what I'm going to do is to buy this currency pair above 1.1180. 1.1180, I'm going to buy it with a target 1.1290. I'm not sure if the price will go there really fast or slow, but if I see that price will go above 1.1180, I'll be ready to buy with a stop under a previous minimum uh, on one hour chart. So when you see the previous minimum on one hour chart extremum, and uh, this will be the point where I put my stop loss and uh, go up with the target 1.1290. Why I get this target? I use the uh, Fibonacci instruments and uh, I get the second level, this is the green one, uh, this is 1.1290. I think this will be the target for this week. I'm not ready to sell now. I'm not ready to buy now. That is why I'm telling you what I'm going to do above some targets. If the price will go under the 200 exponential moving average, after that I will decide maybe to go down and to sell euro dollar. But for now I see that this is potentially a good buy for this um, for, for, for this uh, week, but only when the price on one hour chart goes above some level with the target 1.12. 1.1290. Well, I wish this will work for us. Now let's talk about S&P 500. Uh, well, I actually am ready to say that this is the price where we should start to uh, watch for a moment to sell. This is S&P 500, and if we try to sell, we should you know, we should put stop loss above uh, 3,280, and to work down with the target even 3,020. This is not a target for one week, but if the price will try to go down from here, so our target will be to sell 3,020, right here. If it tries to go down this week, so I think we will get this price really soon. Uh, on, uh, on one hour chart, I will pay attention to exponential moving average 200. When the price going under this uh, moving average, this will be a signal to sell with the target to 200 moving average on 4 hour chart. This is the red one. After the price touched 200 moving average on 4 hour chart, it will go up. From the second time, I know that it will break down and after that we get the target 3020. This is my plan for this instrument and I feel like uh, um, we are really close for this instrument to go down. So uh, I, I'm not telling that you should sell right now, but if you see the price uh, trying to go down on one hour chart and it goes down on the 200 moving average, exponential one, so try it try to sell and try to hold these uh, targets and try to earn money on that. Uh, about uh, the Dow Jones, uh, the picture is really close and I'm also um, trying to pay attention that maybe this is a really close moment to sell, maybe. But um, yeah, I, I, I do remember that I had target, I had target uh, 29,500. This was my target. 29,500. But for now, I'm ready to sell uh, to, to tell that it's time to sell. When you see when you see the price going under this tendency line from uh, September 30, when the price going down, and you see that S&P 500 going down, I think we should try to sell with a target to I think 27. Let, let's say 26. 
26, 9,000, 9, maybe like that, 900, maybe like that, right here, 26, 950, maybe, maybe like that. So it will be like 200 moving average on daily chart. But only if you see that S&P 500 going down, after that you can try to sell Dow Jones. Just be, be ready. I do not see a signal to buy right now. And I think that I should um, tell you about that. Uh, well, uh, in my uh, Russian speaking channel, I also this week um, reviewed the uh, Russian index and uh, uh, some ben ben bank uh, for Russia. Uh, for you, I think won't be interesting those instruments. Um, and I think I should stop now. From you, I would like to ask you um, to tell me what instruments you like to talk about, what you trade, what you are interested in. Uh, either this is only currency pairs, uh, maybe Great Britain Pound, maybe Japanese Yen. Uh, by the way, for this week, for Japanese Yen, I do not have any signals about Great Britain Pound. I, I, I'm, I'm ready to you know, work down and to sell it. Let me, let me see. I'm ready to sell a Great Britain Pound from 1.3150 with a target 1.29. Uh, this is this is what I, I'm going to use. I'm watching here on on my uh, charts. Yeah. So for Great Britain Pound, if you want to talk about it um, a little bit more, write your comments under this this video. You'll help me to make uh, the right content for you uh, in this uh, year. And also, I would like to ask you to share this video uh, with your colleagues uh, in your, maybe in your friends' uh, chats, who trade, of course, because in this year I'm going to uh, spread more English uh, ideas uh, in this YouTube channel. I have a huge Russian-speaking channel, and this year I'm going to work on an English channel, and uh, more to go, more, um, more surprises for you will be. Uh, so sign, and of course, thumbs up, and join my channel, and uh, share it. You will really help me to uh, spread my trading ideas uh, for traders if you share these videos as well. Thank you very much and I wish you profits, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.